Hey guys, Marco Mershta uh, from Smart Brain Academy is speaking. And today I want to talk about uh, a little bit about uh, list engagement uh, in this presentation. And yeah, let's jump right in it. Let's see what we have. List engagement. Okay, building a list is a crucial step when working online. You know that, I know uh, that. It's always good to have a list, uh, to build a list, to uh, make money. Uh, engaging the members on your list will help build credibility, trust and a general interest in you and your offers. And uh, see it like you can brand yourself with your emails and you can build like a, like a raving fan uh, base with your, with your emails. Okay, um, think of list engagement like building a relationship. It's always like building a relationship. And when your list is interested and engaged, they are more receptive to offers. Uh, and don't underestimate this. You have to build uh, trust. There are uh, two ways you, uh, you can do email marketing. The one way is um, you can... can uh, send your list every day uh, the next shiny object uh, you can push them pitch them every day and uh, then you have to build uh, traffic every day to get new subscribers because uh, your unsubscribing rate is uh, quite high and then yes uh, the, uh, the other way and i prefer the other way it's to to build uh, a relationship to build trust with them and don't push every day something like uh, the next uh, uh, make money uh, scam or whatever. Okay. Um, and here a little question. What scenario would you rather try to sell in? Uh, a room full of disinterested people who are wondering who you are and why you are bothering them? Or a room full of people who not only know who you are, they like you and look forward to hearing from you. Like I said, uh, the raving fan base. Okay, here's some uh, some list engagement tips from me. Uh, don't send something every email like I already said. That's not good and your, uh, your unsubscribing rate will uh, increase like, uh, yeah like like two stars uh, offer freebies and unannounced bonuses uh, include a personal email account people can contact you yeah it's always always good to have something like that uh, because you can engage with with your uh, with your subscribers and you can uh, answer questions they have uh, include your social network links. If you have uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, something like that, uh, always uh, include your social network links or give them uh, your links uh, somewhere uh, on your blog. When you, for example, uh, redirect them from your email to your blog, then you can give them uh, your social network links. Uh, and include a Skype contact number. You can do that when you have uh, a lot of time and you want to uh, get uh, connected with, with your subscribers a bit more, you can include your Skype, uh, Skype contact number. Okay, uh, ask for fees, uh, feedback or suggestions. Uh, you can do this with like a little surveys or just uh, send a mail and uh, ask uh, how they like your, your emails and uh, what you can do better. Uh, if you find, uh, find an interesting or helpful link, pass it on. Uh, when you have a site with some uh, some nice content, uh, just uh, pass it on and then uh, they can see it yourself. Uh, don't email more than once a day. A couple times a week is enough. Uh, yeah, I don't have to say anything about that. Uh, don't stick to biz-related messages. Send out the latest viral video as well um, because yeah, it, it's better to 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 uh, to build a really good uh, relationship with with your subscribers when you send them uh, something other than uh, always bis related messages. And use personalization if possible. This is why collecting a first name along with the email address is helpful. You don't have to, but you 
can. Okay, guys, that's it for today with my little tips for a list uh, engagement and like and subscribe uh, to my channel and visit my blog anamarkemerster.com if you like my videos. Okay, guys, have a good one. Bye.